Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a universal digital radiator fan kit from Tusk. It's no secret that keeping your engine from getting too hot or overheating is gonna help it last longer. So that's where this Tusk radiator fan kit comes into play. It's gonna help keep your engine at a safe operating temperature, especially in the more rough or gnarly terrain. Now this fan, it just mounts to the backside of the radiator. This thing, it's gonna kick on at about 190 degrees right out of the box, but that temperature is adjustable. You can adjust it to kick on sooner if you want. As far as fitment goes, this thing is gonna fit almost any machine that has a radiator and a 12 volt battery. So that includes your side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes. Even if your dirt bike has an aftermarket tank or radiator braces, it will fit most of those applications, but you just wanna make sure that you have enough clearance behind the radiator to run this. So this thing is about two inches thick. You're about four and three quarter inches wide. And then the tips of the mounting point are just over seven and a half inches. So again, take those measurements, make sure this is gonna fit your machine. Now this bike right here is a CRF450X. We're gonna show you how to do it on this, but the mounting principles will apply to just about any machine. So let's go ahead and show you how to get this installed. Now, depending on what machine you have will depend on the tools you'll need, but really you just need some common hand tools, a tape measure to make sure the fan fits on your machine. And then we also have some rag safety glasses, some rubber gloves. Now the kit comes with the fan, thermostat, the wiring harness, and everything you need to get it installed and mounted securely. Now, if you need this kit, it's available on our website. So be sure to check that out in the description below. All right, so we've gone ahead and taken some measurements. We've verified that this fan is gonna fit right here on this left side radiator in the lower portion. So I'm gonna go ahead and on this bike, I'm gonna remove the seat. I'm gonna remove the shrouds, gas tank, and the louver on the left side of that radiator. So for our bike, this fan actually slides right down into place and it's gonna fit that in there perfectly. Say if we didn't have enough clearance around these connectors, it is possible you can relocate those if you need to. But for ours, what we're gonna do, we'll just slide this down into place. And then we need to take our plastic locking ties. We're gonna feed these through the radiators just on these fins in between the water jackets and the ties just feed from the back of the fan mount and once you have those pulled all the way through the next step is to take one of these foam pads we'll remove the backing and then there's a little hole the plastic tie is going to punch out we'll slide that down and the sticky side is gonna be facing away from the radiator. Next, we'll take these locking nuts. We'll slide these down into place on the plastic tie. Now, once the locking nuts are in place, we'll tighten both of these ties down until the fan is tightly secured against the radiator. All right, so next we're gonna cut the ends of the plastic ties off and you wanna leave a little bit on there. So I'm just gonna leave about an eighth or quarter of an inch. And now we can reinstall the louver. All right, next up, we need to mount the temperature sensor. And to do that, we need to find a place on the radiator to mount it up. And it can go either above or below the fan, depending where you have yours. So once you've found a good place on your radiator to install the temperature probe, what you wanna do is you'll install half of that tube into one of these fins on the radiator, right where you'll be installing this probe. And then you'll slide this into place. So right here we have the fan harness. We're gonna route this from the battery all the way, we're gonna follow the wiring harness on this left-hand side, all the way up right in this left corner. And to do that, I'm gonna remove this number plate. And we're actually gonna to wait to hook up the terminals until we have everything connected and loosely routed. All 
All right, the next step is to find a place to mount our digital thermostat. So on this bike, up by the left side of the steering stem, we actually have a space that this fits perfectly right there. So we need to make sure that that ceiling surface is clean. Just depending on what machine you're working on, you just need to find a place that you can mount this up securely. And to do that, you've got two sticky pads. We're just gonna use one, we have a flat surface. If you don't have a flat surface to mount this to, you can use the other one to build up the sides wherever you need it to get the best contact out of it. And wherever you choose to mount this up, you need to make sure that all these wires reach that central location where all of the rest of the wires meet up. Now that we have all the wires routed to the central location, we're gonna start making all of the connections. So I'm gonna start with this power lead harness and I am gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease on the connectors and we'll just start plugging everything together. And when you do your routing, you wanna make sure that all these wires are away from any pinch points or any hot spots like the exhaust that could damage them. So this one is the fan, plug that in. And then next, the temperature sensor. So that lead coming from our digital thermostat, the wire isn't quite as long, so we're just gonna route this up there and plug it in. After you've made all your connections, we're gonna go back through and make sure all this wiring is securely mounted. So we have some zip ties that came in the kit. We're just gonna go through and use those. And depending on what machine you're working on, you may need some additional zip ties to help get everything tied down correctly. So at this point we have all of our wiring tied down. We just need to double check, make sure that it's not by any pinch points or hot spots again. So I'm also gonna run my handlebars from side to side, make sure nothing gets caught up. And ours is looking pretty good. So at this point, we're gonna connect the battery terminals. So now that we have everything hooked up, we're gonna to wanna to check it and we're also gonna go through the functions on the thermostat. But before we go any further, I do wanna point out, if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful content. So at this point, what we're gonna do next is start reinstalling some components. So we're gonna install the gas tank, our shrouds, and our number plate over here. We'll put on our seat and then we'll start looking at some of the features on that thermostat. All right, once you have everything put back together, you have the option to just run the bike and let this fan kick on at 190, or if you wanna make that adjustment, this is how you do it. So we have this red button. If I click it once, it'll take us off this screen. This screen right here is showing us the current temperature of the radiator. So I clicked it to 190, that's showing us the preset when the fan will kick on. If we wanna change that, I can hold this button down and there will be a little wrench icon. It's kind of hard to see, but once that 190 is flashing, I can change it one degree at a time or I can do 10 at a time if I hold it down and it's just gonna start skipping up and it'll go all the way up to over 400 degrees and then we're back down at 21 degrees right now. So there's a pretty big range where you can run this at. So now I have this set on 180, it's flashing. If I leave it there for a few seconds, it'll quit flashing and the screen will go back to the radiator temperature. It just went. So that means it saved the 180 as our turn on temp for the fan. So if I short click this button, we can verify that it saved it. So it says 180 right there. And if you wanna verify that you have everything hooked up correctly, you can actually put this at the lowest temperature and let it set and then just make sure the fan kicks on. If this happens, you know everything's okay and you can set it where you need it. 
So I set that at 21 degrees, the fan kicked on. So I'm gonna take it back up to 190. And that's where we're gonna run it on our bike. Now I do wanna point out that the 190 degree fan turn on temperature is gonna be a good spot for most machines. But if you have a special application where you need to change that, it's up to you how cool you want your bike to run so you can adjust that where you need it. And that's all there is to installing the universal digital radiator fan kit from Tusk on your dirt bike or any other machine. The principles will be the same and it's really quick and simple to install. Now, if you need this kit, it's available on our website. We also have a lot of different options for OEM and aftermarket parts. So be sure to check that out. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.